Hello everybody, Swaminath here. Today we are going to see integration between SAP MM and SAP PP, production planning and material management. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, first I'm going to buy stock from the vendor and then I'm going to send it to the production line and then I'm going to get the finished goods. So this is what I'm going to do in SAP. Directly I'm going to show that in the SAP. Let's go to the SAP system. This is my SAP system. Before that, Let's create MM01 material. I'm going to create two raw material. Thousand. Triple zero one. Raw material. Each. So it is no MRP, ND. Valuation class. Let me select the valuation class. 3000. Let me enter standard price. Yes, see. Seven zero seven eight ROH. So another one more metal I'm going to create. Thousand triple zero one ROH two each. Valuation class, 3000. Standard price, I'm going to enter 2500. One day. 7079. 7079. ROH2. 2 and ROH1. Now I'm going to create a finished goods. Finished goods. So this is the end product. I'm going to send this to raw material and I'm going to get the finished goods. The same. Select sales. Views, sales views, friends, yeah, thousand, triple zero, one thousand, triple zero, solid location, triple zero, thousand, ten. Okay, finished goods. Part one, finished goods, each. Zero percent tax, I'm going to enter zero percent tax. Go to Transportation group, I'm going to select corn pellets, loading group, manual or forklift or crane. Select manual. Press enter. Enter. So this time MRP is PD MRP. MRP PD. Press enter. So MRP controller, one who controls MRP. Okay, lot size. Select lot, lot size. EX. EX. It's my lot size. Press enter. So now in the MRP4, select valuation class. Select MRP4, I haven't selected it. That's it. MRP4, select production version. Before that, select repetitive manufacturing and rim profile. Let me select rim profile. Rim profile. Okay. Now production version. Select the production version. Z triple one. Production version. Okay. Valid from valid to select repetitive. Continue. Press enter. Enter. Same. So margin key select scheduled margin key in house production one day. Seven zero eight zero. Seven zero eight zero. Seven zero eight zero. Put. So I'm going to send this to raw material and I into the production line. I'm going to get this put material. Now I'm going to buy this from the vendor. Now I'm going to create a purchase order, ME 21 years. My vendor is, this is my vendor. 
let me enter the vendor. I'm going to buy this to raw material. Purchase on is thousand purchasing group deposit. Enter the material to material seven zero seven eight seven zero seven eight. Okay, hundred quantities. Plant thousand. Storage location triple zero one. Net price two five double zero. And save it. Before the another one more material. 707 7079 okay same 100 quantity net price 2500 plant 1000 storage location triple zero one save it so i'm getting buying this two raw material selling it to the man selling it to the production line Sending it to the production. Let me go to goods reserve. Slash and MI MI GO. I want to goods reserve. Non order item. Item OK. Post. Now let me go to MIR invoice vendor address. Enter the invoice date, select tax, calculate tax, select, enter the purchase order number, which I have created it earlier. Okay. So now five double zero triple zero. Enter baseline date and save it. So now let's go to MMB and check the inventory. Thousand triple zero seven zero eight zero seven zero seven zero seven nine seven eight seven eight. 7079 7080 no stop will be there so here it is 100 100 no stop will be there okay now i'm going to do what i'm going to do is now i'm going to enter demand plan now i'm going to production plan slash show md61 demand plan i'm going to enter demand plan MD61 demand plan for this 7080 for the material 7080. Okay, demand plan present. So this month production will be 100. Next month it's going to be 120. Next month 130. Okay, February month 130. So three, three uh, demand planning I'm creating. Okay, save. Okay, now I'm going to create bill of material. CS0 bill of material. Okay, bomb usage is one, production one, one. Okay, present. Now 7078, 7078, quantity one. 7079 quantity 1. 7079 quantity 1. Okay, this is the main material. Okay, finished goods. These two are our components. Same. Now I'm going to run MRP MD02. I'm going to run MRP 7080 is my material. I'm going to run. MRP, MRP, Metal Requirement Planning for this. Press enter. Just enter. You don't have to do anything. See here. Planned order 3 created. 3 planned order created. Let's go to MD04 and take all the 3 planned orders. This is my planned order. 39 planned order. 
39719 okay now all the three i have uh, system has created planned on it now come back now go to cost collector product cost collector kk f6n kk f6n product cost collector okay new click on to this new button okay order type rm 0 rm 0 okay production version select the production version z triple one z triple one it's my production version. confirm okay now save it press enter product cost collector i'm creating product cost collector yes See here, product cost collector 2500, 2500, which I have given in, given in MM uh, Metal Mask 2500, 2500. Now come back. So I have created product cost collector. Now go to MFBF. MFBF transaction. So REM confirmation. So here it is REM confirmation. Enter the material 7080 is my material. 7080 is my material. Go to 7080. Okay. Planning plan. 1000 store allocation 0001 present present again select the planned order this way first one 100 100 point present enter okay now Post with correction. Okay, see both 7078. Okay, 7078, 100 quantity will be there. 100, 7078, 7079, 7078, 100 quantity will be there. 7079, 100 quantity will be there. Okay, now. Enter storage location triple zero one triple zero one. Okay, present triple zero one. Okay, now save it. So goods received and GR and GI with the document has been posted. Now let's see the Inventory. It should be zero. Now seven zero seven nine should be zero. Refresh it. Material is gone. Seven zero seven eight. It should be none. No, no, uh, no stop. So now seven zero eight zero will be hundred. But now, so what I mean to say is, I have sent these two raw material which I have bought it from the vendor. Okay, I have sent this to raw material which I have bought it from the vendor to the production line. I have bought this 7078 finished goods. This is what the process is. Thank you.